CataractCoach.com, Cataract Quiz. What is the huge problem here? Look carefully at this picture, because as I rotate this lens, I notice a huge problem. Now, here's the case. You can see the patient has relatively dense nucleus, at least for Beverly Hills. You can see there are eight radial keratotomy incisions of the cornea, so we're very careful to place our phaco and other paracetamol incisions between those RK cuts. Remember, we never want to intersect the RK cuts, but the nucleus comes up pretty easily. You can see we're doing a little bit more chopping here to break this fragment into smaller pieces, and these can all be aspirated pretty easily. Now, watch carefully. Again, everything looks so good so far, right? So getting out that last bit of nucleus, here we go. Looks pretty clean, all right. Now, this part of the surgery I've shown you at 2x speed so that we can get through it in an efficient manner. And now, while we're switching over, let me tell you about retinarounds.com, our new retina channel, amazing stuff. I promise you're gonna learn so much. If you're a cataract surgeon, you will love it because it'll teach you the stuff you actually don't know. Again, it's the same format as Cataract Coach, just a five minute video every single day. Check it out, you're gonna love it. Now, by the way, did you hear this last podcast I did? It was just this last Sunday, two days ago, with Bjorn Megpara from Wills. What an amazing podcast. If you're a young ophthalmologist, you need to listen to it. That's Cataract Coach podcast series. And it was really, truly amazing. Again, you'll learn so much about your various job prospects and opportunities. Now, let's get back to our case here. Nucleus is out. Cortex now is all cleaned up. Everything looks pretty good, right? Take another cortex again, showing you at 2x normal speed. We'll slow it down a little bit, but everything to me seems pretty normal. I can look around. That's patient has some flow max, so not the best dilation, but it looks okay. Here's the viscoelastic filling up the capsule bag with a cohesive viscoelastic. Bag looks intact. There's the rexus. You got a beautiful intact rexus. Let's put the lens in. Now the lens, we're going to squeeze it in here through these tinier incisions using a 2.2 or 2.4 millimeter incision. There's a little wound assist. Get the lens in the eye. And that'll go in the capsule bag. We're putting in a single piece. Extended depth of focus lens with toricity on it, so toric version. Get the haptics open. And now, do you notice the issue yet? Now I just pick, figured something out. Let me show you. Ready? Lift this up. That looks... Oh, let's see. Lift up the iris here. That looks pretty good. Okay. That looks okay. That looks... Well, I'm just checking, right? Lens is definitely in the bag. It's behind the rexus. Rexus looks good. Both haptics are in the bag. The optics in the bag. We just got to get the viscoelastic out, but look what happens. Ready? Yo, what is that? What is this thing? Look at this mega huge chunk. You will not believe this. Look at this chunk. Wowza. How that big nuclear chunk just got hidden under the iris. You could miss this, and then you'd finish up the case, and you'd be sad. Because then the next thing you'd see it in the slow lamp, and that's not going to dissolve away. So I got to go back with the phaco probe to get rid of that last chunk. So, wow, did you even notice it? Go back and look at the video. I watched the video, and I could not tell when that piece went under the iris, but obviously, the patient has a little bit of a smaller pupil. This is why I always like to check. In a case that has like this, maybe four and a half, five millimeter dilation, you can certainly do the whole cataract surgery beautifully, but at the end, when you have the eye full of viscoelastic, and you have the lens eye on the bag, lift up the iris 360. Make sure that the eye was totally in the bag, not halfway and halfway out, but also make sure that there's no residual lens material, either a little bit of cortex, or in this case, a humongous chunk of nucleus. Wow, wow, wow. So the rest of the case goes pretty routinely. Everything goes fine here. We'll seal up the incision. I also like to use fluorescein dye now to check all the RK cuts just to make sure they're fine. But wow, beautiful case. Glad you enjoyed the cataract quiz. Remember, check out Retinarounds, our new sister channel. So much great information. I promise you're going to love it.